Okay, so in yesterday's video, we learned how to sidechain using Fruity Limiter and the compression module of that. But what if you've got a third party plugin that you want to sidechain to as well? It's a slightly different process. So what we're gonna do here is get rid of our Fruity Limiter. We don't want it. And what we'll do instead, we're gonna put on our baseline Neutron. Now I've got a Neutron 2 just here. We'll drop that in. Now Neutron can take a external sidechain just like many other plugins, especially useful on its compressor, just like we did in FL Studio. But it requires a little bit of a different setup. So at the minute, we can see that it's reading the baseline. And if we were to bring the compression threshold down here, it's compressing the baseline directly, even though we still have our sidechain set up, our drums still sidechain here, as you can see, into the bases. But it's not working like that. Now on Neutron, we can turn the sidechain on down here and we can choose internal band one. But still it's doing the same thing. It hasn't found the sidechain in FL. And the reason for that is the way FL works, it roots into what's called a wrapper that hosts the plugin. And Effectively, the signal stops there. We need to tell this plugin to read that signal. So on your external plugin, be it neutral or any other, there's a little cog icon up the top here and you get some settings in here. Now, this looks a little bit confusing, but we can essentially ignore this main settings page for now. And we're gonna go into processing. In processing, you're going to see node 0, node 1, and then node 1, 0 on the right-hand side as well. And what we need to do here is similar to what we did on the side chain on the Fruity Limiter. We're going to right-click and we're going to choose drums on number 2, node 1. Okay, Node 0 can remain the same, and node 2, which is actually called node 1, which is confusing, is going to be our side chain. So now if we remove this and go back to our plugin. So now if we go back into Neutron, we need to be on external band one and that should be our side chain for our drums. Just so we can see this a little bit better, what I've done is just cut the breakdown so it's just a kick drum and you can just see the signal for that kick drum coming in here. And we can see that is now what's controlling it. And that's how you set up an external side chain on the third party plugin in FL Studio 20. So I hope that video was useful for you guys. Thank you for subscribing and I'll see you tomorrow on the next video.